Hey guys, so today we're going to be making a LED bar fridge. Um, in my last LED video, I did LED drum kit, so this one will be LED bar fridge. This one will be different, this one will be controlled by remote control. So you won't need any of the pack from last time. Uh, last time I used like a DMX decoder for LED. Uh, this time I'll just be using a remote that comes with the LED kit. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So I'm going to start off by removing the bar fridge from my room. Uh, this will just make it easier, give me more space, and then I'll reinstall it back here later. Okay, so for this setup, I'm going to be using 50-50 uh, LEDs. Comes with a remote, comes with a connector, and the infrared. And uh, it doesn't come with power. I'll need to find a power supply. I'll do that uh, when I come to that issue. And I will also be using these connectors. Uh, these connectors, uh, they save me from soldering. Basically, They'll just unclip and the LED slips straight in here, locks back up and uh, the wire is already there for you so you don't have to do anything. Easy beans. I'm using this because I'm also not only running this on this same line but I'm going to make another video with LEDs running behind my TV screen and my computer screens and on my desk which will be the same colour as these, which is why I need these. So, that'll be another video. Okay, to start off, I'm going to take out this. So I'm just left with the, the fridge. There's a little bit of ice back there, that's because it's uh, the fridge, is, fridge has been on. So, I will line LEDs all the way up here and down here. I'm not going to put LEDs down here because you'll just be able to see them. And depending how it goes, maybe I'll run LEDs along the back up the top as well, but I'll just see how we go. So, let's get started. So these are the LEDs. Um, I'm just going to connect this. I'll leave links in the description to all of the items I've got. So the bag simply just opens up. And there's the LED strip. Easy beans. So there's five meters in here, so I'm gonna have to cut it to the size I need for this, and then I'll reconnect it uh, to wherever else I have to connect it to. And also in this pack, this is controller. I have never used this pack before, so it's first time for me. Oh, don't need those. So that's the remote. They're all the colors you can get, and uh, I have no idea what any of these do. And this is the receiver. So this is for power, this is the receiver, and this is where this one plugs into. This one right here. Okay, so when you're cutting this line, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is cut it on, oh, come on, focus. There's these orange lines right here and all the way along. As long as you cut them along there, it's got cut marks on it, it should be okay. So I'll measure up how much I need. I'm gonna put this hanging out from the corner there. Or maybe I'll do it this side. So the, this is outside and I can connect this from the outside. So yeah, I'll quickly run that and then I'll come back. Okay, so it turns out that it's not sticking so well to the side. So I'm going to get some hot glue. I'm going to hot glue it along and just push it on. Hopefully when you guys do this you don't get what ripped off. But here I've got my hot glue gun that's just heating up right now. I'm just going to measure how much of this I need and then I'm going to cut it to size. Whoa, 
got started on stick towards the end there, but I still need to stick on the start. Just do some dots. Dab. Okay. Now let's stick that on. go ahead and put this back in now just being careful of um With the kit comes this bad boy, so all I have to do is put these in here and then tighten them up with a screwdriver and then this will plug straight into there and then it'll be ready to go. Okay, so now I have my screwdriver, all I have to do is loosen off the side, I'll just fold this side over because it's quite long. That's in there pretty well. And do the same on the other side. Now that's in there pretty well. Now, plug that into there. And this I'll just plug into what I was using for the hot glue gun and it's easy as that. Now the fridge has LED lights in it and uh... Okay guys, moment of truth. Turn her on. Yeah, boy. Let's cycle through a few colours. Nice. Oh yeah. So what I ended up actually doing was I connected the plug the wrong way around. I'll show you in a moment. And then, so it was straight blue. The plug was around the wrong way and it was, the positive and negatives were wired the wrong way. So if I just set this to one color, yeah, what I'll do. What I did, First of all, this one, first of all, this one was around the wrong way. So I had a wide back front. And then second of all, this. So this piece has to go around this way and there's an arrow here, and there's an arrow here. They need to match up with each other. And then it will all work nicely. Okay, all I have to do now is reinstall my fridge in my room. So that's that, we got a, a, a LED bar fridge. Canadian Club represent 
So, um, yeah, I'm super happy with how that turned out. Next up is a video on how to do LED on the back of all of this and back of all of this, and I'm pretty much just going to LED up my room. So, comment below if you want that, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. It was a quick and easy one, and I hope you guys can do it at home. Hey guys, so I've taken the mic off of the camera because as you guys would have heard in that video there were there was quite a bit of a noise going on in the background. That was my mic, so this video took quite a bit of preparation, buying things and stuff and um, it would be a waste if I was to refilm it and I would have to get new parts and stuff. So um, yeah, I'm going to leave it in there, I'm sorry for that and um, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to buy a new mic. Um, not using a mic inside is okay, but as soon as you go outside, you really need a mic because the inbuilt stuff for Canon is not so great. So, yeah, subscribe for more and keep safe. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.